Welcome back. This is our last day. Day 12, June 18th, page 23 and 24. Working on my summer. Come on, you geometry students, remember your trigonometry. What is sine over cosine equal to? The tangent. So after today, we'll work on our summer tan. We will be rooting for some sunshine to get a tan but we're still working on our summer tan after today. Before we get started on today's final lesson, which was nested boxes. Remember the popcorn activity on activity day? Before we get started with that, let's wrap up a few things. First of all, the packet I mailed home, the fourth page is this activity. Okay, nested boxes, nested trays, the volume. Okay, remember, three-dimensional math, that's what geometry was. The next year we apply it to the real world. In the real world, we need to know the different volumes of these containers. Okay, then you look at the next to the last page, and that was like a master cheat sheet for the five strategies of factoring. Remember? The factors are the key to success, okay? In Algebra 2, everything relies on the solutions, the x-intercepts, the zeros, which are the factors. That's what we're going to do on this problem. That's what we do next year in Algebra 2, and we need all of these skills, okay? So rip this off, keep it with you, because you're going to use this page multiple times in Algebra 2. Okay, otherwise, save it in the file so you can print it out next year when we get back to school. The five strategies, okay? Then on the back page is my sign sheet to you, congratulating you on participating this entire three months, okay? The April 2020-20, the May 2020-20, and the June 12-12-20, okay? So that was this one. Now, if you had a chance to actually open up the PDF of the entire 12, 12, 20 series, or even print it out, there's a bunch of artifacts at the end of that package, okay? The first one, okay? On day 12, there's a supplemental activity today. Serious. There is an extra lesson, and this lesson is all about what goes up must come down. And how do we do that mathematically? So there's a supplemental lesson. Then there's a bonus day. Bonus day, okay? So on this bonus day, again, factoring using the five strategies. I'll be emailing you out the answer key. For those of you that wanna continue your learning, feel free. Okay, supplemental day 13. And then if you printed out the packet, the packet actually had the resource, which is on the mailer, okay, the five strategies to factors. And then what I always refer back to, quadratic graphs. The idea of what goes up comes down and all the vocabulary that we use in Algebra 2. So that kind of finishes the packet. If you didn't have a chance to print it out, make sure you save it in a file electronically so that you have it next year because every item that we used the last three weeks, that's what you do. That's the foundation to Algebra 2. So you'll need all those skills. Cool? All right. So I think we're ready to get started today. Couple extra activities. Feel free to email me if you want the video tutorial. All right? Okay, here we go. We're talking about volume. We're talking about popcorn. We're talking about these trays. Okay? So the idea was, on activity day, you actually take a sheet of paper, cut out the corners. 
the more you cut out, the taller the box, right? The more you cut out, the taller the box. Okay, so on your sheet of paper, write down volume, length times width times height. Every time we cut a corner out, we're gonna fold it up. We cut the corner out, we fold it up. This X is how tall it is. The X is how tall, the more we cut out, the taller it is. So that's the H, okay? So off to the side here, let's write, H is X, okay? The H, the height of our tray, is X units, okay? All right, now, length, width, length. If it's 13, a sheet of paper is eight and a half whoop, by 11. Sorry about that. <laughs> eight and a half by 11. Eight and a half by 11. If the length is 11, I'm cutting out an X. I'm cutting out an X. Can you see that now the length is 11 minus X? minus x. This piece right here is 11 minus that minus that. Simplify 11 minus 2x. The idea of combining like terms. Okay so L length equals 11 minus 2x. Well, that leaves the W, eight and a half. But we cut off an X, we cut off an X. So this was eight and a half, but we lost some and we lost some. So eight and a half minus X minus X. Combine like terms. Remember we did that a couple weeks ago. So this is the width. So the width equals 8.5 minus 2x. Now I'm going to pause for a moment. Everything we did the last three weeks led to right here. We actually wrote out the factors. We wrote out the zeros. From this, we can get the x-intercepts. From this, we get the solutions. Wow. Okay, so volume, length, 11 minus 2x, the width, 8.5 minus 2x, and the height, the amount we cut up, cut off, that's how tall it is. That equation does everything. That is Algebra 2, real-world mathematics. We can maximize the volume of this box with this equation. Okay? So, there's the factors. Where's that cross the x-axis? x minus 0 at zero. I'm going to actually take this and put it on a graph. If you notice on your sheet, I actually included the graph. It crosses at zero, zero, right there. That is x plus zero. Boom. Okay. How about this guy? Where does that cross? Let's do the math real quick. The zero, set it equal to zero. 8.5 minus 2x equals zero. Bring that over. Negative 2x equals negative 8.5. Divide by negative 2, divide by negative 2. 
x will cross the x-axis at half of that, 4.25. One, two, three, four. Four point two five. We can rewrite this. I'm just going to write it right above. Another way to write this is four point two five minus x and then the last one okay let's do this one here 11 this is going to give us a third a third x intercept 11 minus 2x equals 0 negative 2x equals negative 11, divide by negative 2, divide by negative 2, x equals 5.5. Something's going to happen at 5.5. 5. 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. x minus 5.5. Okay. Let's just write that up above here. 5.5 .5 minus x. Okay. Let's see what we get. Here is everything we need to know. All those algebra skills right here. We saw the real world math. We wrote out the equations. length, width, height. Now it's a calculator activity. Let's just type it in and see if we can generate what this says. Okay, so turn your calculator on, go to the Webbit, type it in, and I'm going to type in 11 minus 2x. Make sure you use parentheses in all these. So parentheses 11 minus 2x close parenthesis, open parenthesis, 8.5 minus 2x, close parenthesis, times x. Hit graph. Now before we post the graph, I'm going to hit the window, okay? I altered the window a little bit because we don't need what's over here, okay? We, I'm going to leave this up to 10. But this goes quite high. So let's mark this. I'm going to go up to 75 units. So this is counting by ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. We hit graph, and we can find all of our key points. Again, it was on the mailer I sent, plus you can download it, at 1.5260. 1.52. 1 1.52. I'm going to mark that. 1.52. And it goes up to 67, 57. 57, 57, 57, okay, sketch a little graph here, okay, all right, so now we've got our curves. We have our zeros, we have our x-intercepts, we have our factors. We can actually maximize the volume of a box of popcorn given a sheet of paper. 
And the key for maximizing what we actually do in Algebra 2 is find this point. The maximum volume given a sheet of paper. Take this sheet of paper and we can maximize the volume by cutting out 1.5 two seven inches cut out an inch and a half and an inch and a half 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 and our maximum volume will be 57.76 everything I did was in inches so cubic inches okay Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully these concepts make sense. Hopefully you're not afraid of the algebra. And you're going to have a great year next year in Algebra 2 because this is how we proceed with mathematics in the real world. So, as we head off for our summer tan, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed doing all this math. Enjoy yourself over the summer. If you're interested in those bonus lessons, let me know. Meanwhile, enjoy your popcorn. Have a great summer. Bye-bye. Thank you. Oh.